Mr. Kissinger, you had several phone messages while you were out, sir. Uh, anything uh, important? The President of the United States called. Good. Uh, did you get his name? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to take this opportunity to have you meet the Secretary of State, his family, and some of his friends. Good uh, <clears throat> evening. I am the Secretary of State, Dr. Henry Kissinger. Hello. I am Henry's son by a previous marriage, Hans Kissinger. Hello. I am Henry's mother, also by a previous marriage. <laughs> Mrs. Helga Kissinger. Hello, I am Henry's first cousin, Fritz Kissinger. Hello, I am Henry's next door neighbor, Pierre Cardon Bleu. <laughs> Hello, I am Henry's newspaper boy, Rodney Feinster. Hello, I am Henry's pizza pie maker, Angelo Spomonicelli. Hello, I am Henry's hairstylist, Bruce. <laughs> Hello, I am Kissinger's gardener, Yokoshima Takanasha. Hello, I am Henry Kissinger's Irish setter, Rover. Hello, I'm nobody. <laughs> I just walked in here and I want to be on the album. <laughs> Mr. Kissinger, uh, people know very little about you. I'm sure there must be some skeletons in your closet. I mean, do you have any secrets you'd care to reveal to me? Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but <clears throat> I think that that is rather private, and I don't wish to talk about it. Um, uh, forgive me for pushing, Mr. Kissinger, but if you could only give me one exciting piece of information, like, um, do you wear jammies to bed? Or uh, do you sleep on your side? Anything at all, anything. No, 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 no. I, I really think that <clears throat> you are going too far. That is my business, and I <clears throat> would prefer that you don't ask me any more questions. Well, um, Mr. Kissinger. What is it now, for heaven's sake? Is it all right if I call you Henry? We've been married for almost a year now. <laughs> Well, uh, <clears throat> well, okay, Nancy, but uh, when my folks are visiting, it's Mr. Kissinger. <laughs> Claudia. Uh, yes, Mr. Kissinger. <clears throat> is, there, is there anybody uh, in my waiting room? No, sir. That's good. Are you going to lunch? Yes, sir. I but was just leaving. Is there anyone coming down the hall? I'll look. No, sir, no one. All empty out there, but you lock the door when you go. Yes, sir, I'm going now. Good, now, uh, uh, yes, yeah, uh, where is that record? Uh, good, now I put on my patent leather tap shoes. <laughs> okay, now I lace them up real tight, and here we go. Uh, oh, boy, that's it. But step now, just a simple step at first. Hold the hop, the tracking down, down. Yeah, now, now here, com here comes the big part. This is the good one here. A rooney bout, a rooney bout, oh, 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 oh. Now, now we're gonna get it on. Let's get it together, Hank. Okay, now we're shuffling off the buffalo. Huh. Okay, one, two, three, and the one, two, three. Ah, oh, the secretary is out the heck with it. Now the buck and the wing. Now the buck again, and now the wing. Shut up. Telephone, to take it on down, I'm coming through. Can you dig it? Shut up, phone, I'm moving out. Get on down with your bad self, Hank. Okay, all right, there I go. I guess I gotta answer the phone. Hello. Oh, Henry. Yeah. This is Melvin Laird, Henry. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I took so long to answer the phone. I, <clears throat> I was just searching for some papers here in the office. Yeah, okay, and, uh, fine, Henry. Now, look, uh, I'm in the building across the street. Would you do me a favor? Uh, sure. Uh, what is it? Either pull down the shade or put some clothes on. <laughs> Mr. 
grab your coat and grab your head. You leave your worries on the doorstep. But you do is direct your feet. Hey, baby, what's happening? To the sunny side of the street. You got a match, my man? Uh, I, have, <clears throat> I have a lighter. That'll do just fine. Give me that. Oh, no, no, no. Please, don't grab. Where is your cigarette? I will light it for you. I'm going to smoke it later, honky. Now, how about some bread? <laughs> no, I, I, I have just come from the bakery, but I did not buy bread. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do have some apple strudel. Hey, man, uh, you got a match? No, but, <clears throat> but he has my lighter. Okay, man. I'll take the lighter and all your bread, man. I ain't got no bread, man. Hey, what are you, crazy? I uh, uh, have uh, some apple strudel, perhaps, or what? <laughs> Move it out, Jim. This is my area, dig it? Now, you can't mug him, baby. I'm mugging him. It make no difference to me who I mug, man. <laughs> hey, dig it. You can't mug a mugger, man. And I'm the mugger. No, man. I'm the mugger. Uh, no, uh, no, just a moment. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> Uh, I find that arguments can best be resolved. <laughs> uh, when, uh, when the parties involved are calm and employer restrained. Hey, now dig it. You are the muggy man. <laughs> I am the mugger. He is also the muggy. Uh, wait a minute, man. I'm a mugger. What's a muggy, man? I, I don't think you heard him properly, you see. <clears throat> I uh, am a muggy. And then he said that you are also a muggy. Hey, I don't understand nothing, man. Just give me your wallet, you know what I mean? Hey, hold on, baby. I'm gonna get his wallet, you're gonna get the socks, you dig? Yeah, but how much better it will be if you both get something. Uh, perhaps... <laughs> Perhaps you could let him have my socks, and then you could have my shoes. Hey, I don't want your shoes, man. I want your rings. Uh, uh, no, uh, I tell you what. You should give him your socks, because, you see, he has my socks. Now, then, then he will give me his socks, and then I will give them to you, uh, but only if you give me your T-shirt. <laughs> uh, I think that's fair to all parties. Oh, come on, baby. You freaking me out with all that jazz. Hey, money, simple. I'm giving you my T-shirt. Now you give him your pants with the wallet. My pants? Hey, buzz off, man. I want his pants. Oh, uh, no. Uh, oh, that, that is good. Now Now you can both have my pants. Okay, now, man. Now, wait a minute. Now, you, you give me your pants. Okay, man. Then you give me your coat. I want your coat, man. Yes, I will give you my coat and my commobund for your pants. Hey, wait a minute, Jim. He got my shoes and my Bruce Lee T-shirt. Yeah, man. Give him back his shoes. You got my shoes, my jacket, and my chin on. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, we're starting to get a crowd, man. All right, all right. Hey, what's going on here now? Hey, officer, man, we just got ripped off. Why are you two guys... <laughs> You're standing here in your underwear. Why? <laughs> like I said, we got ripped off, man. Yeah, I got their coat. I got their pants. I leave the t shirt on. <laughs> ABC, Mr. Kissinger, would you give us a quick test on our microphones, please? The ones on the right. Yeah, gladly. I quit. Who needs it? I don't need it. You don't need it. Enough is enough. I've had it. I quit. That's it. And finish. Yeah, CBS, Mr. Kissinger, would you test our microphones, please? The ones in the middle. Of course. I quit. Who needs it? Stuff it. Bump it. Forget it. I don't need it. <laughs> Drop it. I quit. Enough is enough. So far and so forth. Uh, NBC, sir, would you check our mics, please, on the left? Of course. I quit. Who needs it? Enough already. Scratch it. Forget it. This is the end. Finish. I quit. Oh. Okay, stand by. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. You're on the air. Good evening. This is Henry Kissinger. For years, I used to smoke cigarettes. Then suddenly, I quit. Who needs it? I don't need it. You don't need it. Enough for everyone. Finish. so sick and tired of eating foreign food with uh, diplomats. <clears throat> I really want to have some good old American food. 
Well, how about that place over there? Oh, yeah, yeah, that is very good. That, mm. that is a very American place. I have heard of this place. This is what you call a jack in the box. I hear that they have a, a big, uh, big vaporoo or something like that. Pick <laughs> up the kids, crank up the car, come to check the bones. <laughs> What a great song. That is a marvelous song. Henry, I'm starving. I mean, how does it work? Well, first we drive up here to the clown. Uh, and now we, uh, we stop the car. And, uh, now here's where we talk into the clown's face. I have, uh, I have seen this on television. Hi there. I'm your clown in the box. Your order, please. Oh, I love that. Did you hear that? Yes. It's really cute. Hi there. I'm your clown in the box. Your order, please. Well, say something, Henry. Hi there. I am your, I am your secretary of state in the car. Hi there. I'm your clown in the box. Your order, please. I think I would uh, like to have some real American food, a hot dog, a uh, chocolate milkshake, and a banana split. Henry, you have to order what is on the list. Hi there. I'm your clown in the box. Your order, please. Uh, it is hard to decide here. Let's see. Uh, Chumbo Jacks, Jungle Dog, Yankee Doodle Burger, the Pippa, the Wappa, the Wera. What, what is all that? Hi there. I, I will have uh, a, a Yankee Doodle, whatever it is. And, uh, Hi there. I'm your clown in now, the box. Look, cool it, clown. I'm trying to give you the order here. And you're not Henry. being patient. You have an impatient clown. Henry, please. That is no way to speak to a clown. I don't know. I think maybe it's stuck or something here. It keeps saying hello. Hi there. <laughs> yeah, I'm no, your clown this, in the box. This, this is a stuck clown here. But I'm telling you, maybe if you give it a little set to the side of the head here, that helps. Uh, that's all. Henry, you've just broken the clown. It's broken. The clown is broken. Oi, be his mayor. Uh, 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 well, here, here, Nancy, uh, quick, take this, get it out of here. No, no, don't bring me the clown into the car. I mean, what do you want me to do with well, it? Get, get it out of here. I don't care what you do with it. I'll stay here. I work things out. You know how good I am at working things out. Goodbye, Henry. <laughs> Hey, Mom, this is a real dopey clown. Look, shut up, kid. I'm your jack in the box. Give me your order. I'll give you a session. Mr. Henry? Uh, boy, over here. I, uh, I am Henry Kissinger. Phone call for you, Mr. Kissinger. Fine, where do I go? Right over there, sir. The house phone. Excuse me. Boy, I'm Henry Kissinger. You have a call for me? No, wait a minute. Uh, I, uh, I am Henry Kissinger. No, no, I'm Henry Kissinger. Oh, no, 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 no. There must be some mistake. What is this? Is this some, some kind of a joke or something? Did someone in the White House put you up to this? How long have you been Henry Kissinger? Are you serious? I have always been Henry Kissinger. <laughs> Henry Kissinger is not my show business name. That is my real name. Are you suggesting Henry Kissinger is my show business name? No, but I am expecting a phone call. So am I. I mean, I do get phone calls, you know. Well, I get a lot of phone calls. <laughs> I get plenty of phone calls. People call me from all over the world. Are you suggesting I only get local calls? <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Why don't I go and see who the call is from? That should solve the whole thing. I'll be right back. Yeah, actually, yeah, there is <clears throat> hardly a point in arguing about this. I believe in peaceful coexistence. I still say the call is for me. I doubt it. I'm almost sure that the call is for me. It's for me. Excuse me, gentlemen. Yes? The call is from San Clemente. It's for you. It's for you. It's for you. It's for you. <laughs> passengers only. No parking, please. The white line is for loading and unloading of passengers only. 
no part. The white part. All passengers holding tickets for American Airlines Flight 793, Los Angeles to Washington. Proceed to gate 15, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard American Airlines Flight 5. In the seat pockets in front of you is a card which illustrates the safety features of our aircraft. Who's Good evening. Oxygen this mask. is your captain your speaking. We're going to be cruising at an altitude of approximately 33,000 feet. The weather in Washington is slightly overcast at the present, and I'll be Hold talking to you again at various you. times during your trip. The white line is for loading and unloading of passengers. Kindly have your baggage checks. Kindly have your baggage checks ready. Eastern Airlines announces the arrival of Flight 419 from Miami. Welcome home, Pussykins, and how was your trip? Uh, this is Henry Kissinger speaking. I am proceeding straight up to my room where I will put on my pajamas. <laughs> Anyone wishing to board my bed must do so at 0800 hours. <laughs> Thank you for welcoming me, and I hope I have a pleasant sleep. Good night. Will all arrival passengers please file through customs? Welcome back, Mr. Kissinger. I'll be clearing you through customs. Uh, thank you. I have <coughs> a little to declare. I just have a few humorous items here and a paper, paper bag for my friends at the White House. I'm sorry, I'll have to see oh, them, no, no, sir. No, 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 I don't usually have to show I'm what I'm sorry, I sir, I'll have to see them. Well, you see, I am the Secretary of State. I still have to <laughs> see them, sir. Uh, well, all right. <coughs> uh, here's a whoopee cushion for Melvin Laird. Uh, that's terrific. I'll sit on it and goes poopy. Would you please tell me the value of that item there, uh, sir? Which, which item is there? That, uh, that is my face. I, I mean on your face, the nose and the glasses. Uh, uh, I don't understand what you're talking about. That you see, that is my real nose and <coughs> glasses. You mind if I touch them? Yeah, well, all right. If, if you must, hurry up and do it. You've wasted enough time. Yeah, I'll be very gentle, sir. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm sorry, how much did you pay for these? Holy cow, that came off. My nose and glasses came off. <coughs> I, I, That'll be three dollars and sixty I, I know you won't believe this. I've been wearing these all my life. I always thought that was my real nose and glasses. <laughs> uh, 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 how about that hair piece? Oh, no, no, no. Those are, those are my real curls. I've always been a curly guy. <coughs> That's another six dollars and twenty cents. Hey, that, that came off too. I can't believe it. I'm bald. I'm a bald guy. <laughs> Quick, uh, give me a mirror here. Look at that. Isn't that unbelievable? Oh, my God, I just made a remarkable discovery. I'm, a <clears throat> I'm not Henry Kissinger. Who are you, sir? Who, who am I? I'm a bowling ball in heat. Listen. Listen to this dummy. Why don't you go home and take a warm bath? Hope your duck dies. Oh, you get to be the Secretary of State and everybody thinks your life is glamorous and exciting. Well, it's not all beer and Skittles, kids. Listen while Henry Decay tells it like it is. I get up every morning from the alarm clock warning. I take the 8.15 into the city. That's pretty early. There's a whistle up above and people are just pushing everybody. Other people are shoving and the girls are trying to look pretty. And if the train's on time, well, I guess I could get to work by nine, but then I gotta start my slaving job to get my pay. If you ever get annoyed, well, just look at me, I'm self-employed. I love to work at nothing all day, and I'm taking care of business. Every day I'm taking care of business. Every which way that I can think about, I'm taking care of business. It's all mine, I'm taking care of business, and believe me, kids, I'm working overtime. Negotiate, kids. Oh, gosh, sometimes I like to put all of my brown suits in a U-Haul a trailer and bug out of here. It's just not fair. The way things are with the economy, I don't even travel first class on Air Force One. You think it's easy schlepping this attache case all day? I got my lunch in here, you know. 
I don't got no peanut butter sandwich in here. I got a pheasant under glass. I got a chef. I got a vine cellar, chocolate mousse, a lot of heavy stuff. It's all part of taking care of a business every way in the world. Thank heaven I have these girls to help me around the office a little bit. They clean up, you know, do a little odd jobs here, stuff like that. They're cute, too. Give me a little bit more of that taking care of you know what. Every way we can pick a ball. That's right, lay it on them, kids. It's all mine, yeah. And we're all working overtime. These kids are just helping out something, something fierce here. Just terrific kids. What a bunch of cooperative girls. Gosh, thank heaven I got them around here. Boy, can they take a fast shorthand. Pretty good on the old typewriter, too. That's right. Show them how you collate, kids. That's good collate. Look at that kid collate. Oh, gosh, can she move on the collator? Yeah, okay, now down to the Xerox. That's good. Oh, look at that Xerox move. Oh, that kid's got 62 pages now already. Terrific kids. Oh, gosh, I love these kids. Move it on out now, girls. Okay. Take this over to Melvin Laird. Yeah, all right. Now take this over to Oval Office. Or what's his name? Dr. Kissinger, we certainly appreciate your taking time out of your busy schedule to come here to Disneyland to help mediate this problem. Yes, I'll do my best. Now, let me get this straight. As I understand it, your animals are striking for pension benefits and the Warner Brothers uh, animals have crossed the picket line and are trying to get jobs here at Disneyland. That's it, exactly. Now, do you know Mickey? Uh, Mickey, oh, yeah, he's the mouse, am I right? He, yes, I'll, uh, I'll let him explain it to you. Kissinger. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Well, do you see, the problem is that we want to become unionized. I mean, well, Pluto is our shop steward here. Uh, which, uh, which, which one is uh, Pluto? Oh, Pluto's the dog. Uh, the do which dog? The one that drives the car with the donut tires? Oh, oh no, that's goofy. Uh, Pluto is the orange dog with the mouse's tail. You see, Pluto, the orange dog, used to belong to me. Now Goofy owns him. In other words, the dog was owned by the mouse, but now he's owned by another dog. And the duck. The duck and the dog own the dog. I see the duck with the dog's collar around his neck. No, no, that's Daffy. He's with the other group. The pig and the cat and the rabbit. Donald is our duck. He's the one with the bottomless sailor suit. In other words, the duck and the dog own the dog. <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> but the pig and the cat and the other duck don't own the dog. And you, a mouse, used to own the dog, but you gave it to the duck. No, not quite. <laughs> See, right after the divorce... <laughs> what, uh, what, what divorce? Uh, me and Minnie. That's when I gave the dog to the duck. Then Clarabelle died. Uh, she was the cow. Uh, Ferdinand passed away. And then Thumper expired. You know what they always say, they go in threes. Yeah. Uh, 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 just a minute, I'm slightly confused here. Maybe if the doc explained it. Excuse me, uh, I have to... <laughs> Out of my sugar and a mouse, I guess. Oh, I, I just got to get out of here. Well, how did we do, Mr. Kissinger? I'm sorry, I can't make heads or tails out of what you're saying. Maybe I better uh, go over there and talk to that other bunch. Yeah, anything you say, they're right over there in that room. <laughs> so pretty, sucker <laughs> Dr. Kissinger. <laughs> 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 What's up, Doc? I, uh, I, I am here to mediate the, the problem between the groups of animals. Hey, Doc, 
Do you like custard pies? Uh, why, yes, as a matter of fact. Here's one. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> What the heck was that? Okay, Doc, uh, just follow me. I don't wanna. I wanna get out of here. I like him. He's crazy. <laughs> Who it is? <laughs> crazy bird. Try the window. If anything, I just must simply get out of here. <laughs> Gee whiz, I could have sworn that window was open. I, I think every bone in my body has broken. I must, I must find a way out of here. What's the matter? Is something bothering you? It's all your fault, you crazy rabbit. If I could get my hands on you. Oh, please, Doc. Please don't hurt me, Doc. Pity my poor, frail little rabbit body. Oh, moisy, moisy, please, please. All right, all right, rabbit. You can get up now. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm a man of peace. I, <clears throat> I never lose my cool. Gee, thanks, Doc. Here, have a carrot. Okay, thank you. I accept that. Good. Let me light it for you. Uh, help me, please, anybody. Help me. Hi, Doc. My name's Sylvester. Of course, I could be mistaken, but I thought I saw a pretty tit. Say, Doc, do you like light shows? Hold on to this wire. Woo <laughs> that straightened my curls. Oh, thank God the cavalry's coming. <laughs> what the heck? Hey, Doc, do you like banana cream pie? No, I don't like banana cream pie. I do not like banana cream pie. I hate banana cream pie. Good, cause this one's lemon meringue. <laughs> Well, there goes another Botany 500. Oh, whoa, Dr. Kissinger. Oh, no more. I can't stand it. I got to get back to Washington. Excuse me, senor. Epa, epa, arriba, arriba. I'm on the way to your car, senor. Follow me, I think. Thank you very much. Much. You like pumpkin pie, senor? Epa, epa, arriba, arriba, hija. I don't want no pumpkin pie, I don't want no Bavarian cream, I don't want no sherry a la mode, goodbye. <laughs> that was the biggest banana peel I ever saw. <laughs> Well, welcome back to Washington, Mr. Kissinger. How was your trip to Disneyland? I uh, would rather not talk about it, if you don't mind. Go right in, sir. President Ford is waiting for you. Henry, it's in, 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 and I was having you uh, back in Washington. United Nations Security Council will please come to order. The chair recognizes the distinguished delegate from France, Mr. Bourbon St. Germain. Bonjour, le petit soir de la vie tutuelle. In accordance with Article 44 of the Charter, we find it difficult to reach a decision as regards to the issue currently before the distinguished members of the Security Council. Uh, therefore, the uh, an abstention is reserved until such time as a list of scheduled speakers has been consummated. The distinguished delegate from Japan, Mr. Yamamoto. After much deliberation, we have arrived at the conclusion that the basis of arbitration is not an issue for debate in this council at this time. We therefore pass. The, uh, the distinguished delegate from the United States, Dr. Henry Kissinger. Mr. Chairman. <laughs> The United, the United States, States at this time, time feels rigorously, feels rigorously and harmoniously together 
I don't, I don't mean, mean to let, let any cats, cats out of the bed. <laughs> Uh, uh, Claudia, please, uh, no calls, no visitors. Uh, I think <clears throat> I would like to relax for a while. Oh, yes, Mr. Secretary. Yeah, a sound mind and a healthy body makes Henry a good Secretary of State. <clears throat> now for a nice, refreshing dip in my uh, White House bathtub. <clears throat> Fill it with the water. Mm -hmm. In with the bubbles. Now we put the soap in there. And now the meat tenderizer. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, now in with my little cute pink body. <laughs> okay, now I take off my clothes. <laughs> Wait a minute, I, I think I, I, I have made a mistake here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, I should have taken off the clothes first. Then in with the pink body. Okay. First, I think I do a few push ups. Down. One. Half. Well, that goes it for this week. <laughs> now then, where are my boats here? I got to... Uh, uh, there's a destroyer. It's over here. That's the cruiser. Ah, there, there is the battleship. Now, the most important thing of all the U-boats. Uh -huh. uh, now, 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 if we have here on the soap dish, this would be Cyprus here. Yeah, yeah this is Cyprus. And now the sponge is Turkey. Ah, yeah. Okay, men, scramble. Oh boy, victory at sea. Torpedo loss. <laughs> Not the Polaris submarines. Dive, dive. Make war, not love, you fools. I love this. <laughs> I get such a kick out of that. There's nothing like a good war to relieve the pressures brought on by the constant peaceful negotiations. <clears throat> now, now, here go the planes. The planes are taking off from the carrier. Ah, yeah, yeah. Pump the pachipas out of them. <laughs> good kick. Now, there goes the soap. Ah, very good. Wonderful. Today, it is bathtub. Tomorrow, a swimming pool. What is los? What is that? Ah, that, that is the intercom. I forgot where I was. <laughs> Hello. Who is it? Henry. Yes. Melvin Laird. What is it, Melvin? The president wants to take a bath. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, no, Melvin, there's no room in here. <clears throat> Besides, uh, he has his own tub. Uh, it's not the tub he wants, Henry. He wants his navy. <laughs> Well, you see, um, uh, I have to attend this costume party at the White House, <clears throat> and I want something unusual that will fit my personality and image without uh, <clears throat> offending anyone. Uh, okay, can I suggest this, sir? What is that? Uh, that's a chicken suit, sir. <laughs> Isn't it nice? It's only 25 bucks, $30 with the eggs. Oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> if I wear a chicken suit, I might offend Turkey. <laughs> You see, uh, what I need here is uh, something that fits my personality. Okay. Can I suggest, sir, that you go as Tinkerbell with the wand, the little wings? It's such a gay outfit. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I would love that, but uh, I have reliable information that three of the Supreme Court justices are going as Tinkerbell. Uh, they're, they're going as Tinkerbell without each other's knowledge. I see, yeah, sir. Awful when you're well, uh, sir, fine stuff. How about this here? I got a pair of shiny dark pants right here. Here, get into this brown shirt. I got a mm -hmm. black coat with an armband on it here. Yes. There's the armband. That's pretty good. How about the dark shoes? Yeah. And this little hat here with the peak there. Also this, this here. Take this mustache. It fits right under your nose. I okay, clipped that right sir. On now, it. if you if you comb your hair flat to one side, right over your forehead. Oh yeah, yeah. I like that. That's pretty snappy. Yeah. <laughs> I put that on. Uh, oh, that. Oh, now I put on the jacket. Oh yes, this fits perfect. This is terrific. Yeah, the little mustache, the hair combed down. Let me see myself in this. Uh, 
Ja, das ist me. Oh, das ist wunderbar. Ach, 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 lieber Steinerhausen, ist dies das, das Buttonzier? Ja, das ist das Buttonzier. Ist das das, das Pocketzier? Ja, das ist das Pocketzier. Buttonzier? Pockets there. Excellent. I like this. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wear this home. Don't bother wrapping this up. I'm just gonna wear it right out on the street. Very good, sir. Uh, by the way, uh, who am I supposed to be? Charlie Chaplin. That's what I told you. <laughs> Gentlemen, I suggest that the rights of the United Arab Council show us clearly that this parcel of land should be under Arab nation control. No, no. This is Israeli land, and as such, it must be governed by the Israeli people. This is Arab land. This is Israeli land. Arab land. Israeli. Uh, gentlemen, <clears throat> just a moment. Uh, I feel that we have come so far along the road of uh, peace. Uh, it would be such a shame to allow one dispute to plunge us back into a costly war. The Arab countries will abide by your decision, Mr. Kissinger. Likewise. Israel will let you choose, Mr. Kissinger. Excellent. Then, in a matter of worldwide importance like this, I feel that you should leave me alone to think and arrive at the decision as I always do. I must weigh all of the elements before <clears throat> I can choose. Kissinger is the only man in the world who can clearly and fairly come up with the right answer. I say we leave him alone, gentlemen. Ume. Yeah. Heads it goes to the Jews, tails it goes to the Arabs. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, uh, two out of three, maybe. <laughs> well, maybe three out of five. <laughs> Now that dinner is over, I thought we might all move into the drawing room and I will show you some slides taking up my trips abroad. Hank, our guests don't really want to Quiet, see Quiet, Nancy. Don't be a smart aleck. Just turn out the lights. Okay, here I am at the airport at the customs inspection. And now uh, here I am. I'm boarding the plane after telling the customs that they passed my inspection. And now here I am in the Kremlin. <clears throat> I am shaking hands with uh, Premier Brezhnev in a gesture of good faith, friendship, and trust. And now here I am a few seconds later <clears throat> in a Kremlin bathroom washing my hands. <laughs> and, uh, and now, uh, oh, oh, this is a good one here. This is, I'm at uh, the Great Wall of China here. And uh, here is Joe and Lai making me a race for the road on the wall. Uh, now, here I am on the Riviera with Joe St. Oops, that's the wrong one. Oh, no. Here, there. Now, here I am. Yeah, yeah, here I am in Turkey. I'm eating chili. And here I am in Greece. I'm eating turkey. And here I am in Chile eating greasy turkey. And uh, here I am in Turkey eating greasy chili. And uh, here I am back in the Kremlin bathroom again. Uh, here, oh, this is a good shot. In a moment of leisure, I'm lying on the beach. I'm trying to get a tan. And now here I am. I'm leaving the beach, and I'm trying to brush the sand off my suit and tie and shirt. <laughs> and uh, now, uh, in this one, I am meeting with some other key men in the Nixon administration. And here I am uh, <clears throat> being told by the guard that my visiting time is up. <laughs> This, this is me again. Uh, this is me again. I'm posing with some famous queens. Uh, uh, now, after being away more than a month, uh, there I am in this shot. I'm back in Washington meeting with Gerald Ford. And here I am after the meeting asking one of my aides, who is Gerald Ford? And uh, this one is the last group of guests that I showed slides to walking out of the room halfway through the showing. And uh, this is a sad one. I'm sitting there alone crying. 
Oh, thank goodness you people stay. Hello? Is there any? Nancy? Nancy? Well, that's show business. Washington, you're known as Dr. Show Business. Oh, won't you do just one number for us, Henry? Yeah, come on. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. I didn't bring my equipment, you know. Uh, my Indian clubs, my unicycle, my rabbit has the mange. <laughs> well, uh, how about some dancing? <laughs> come on. <laughs> uh, well, I, I won't dance. Don't make me. I won't dance. Oh, don't come dance. on, come on. Well, okay, you <laughs> twisted my arm. Yeah, how about that? Lucky for you, I'm wearing my capizios. Now watch this real careful while I explain the procedural points to you. Here's a dance all your neat guys and gals should know. Yeah. And it only happens when you got all the lights down. Real low, yeah. What you do is you grab onto your baby. Yeah, that's the first thing. Then it's when... You go. What you gotta do is do the Hucklebuck. You do the Hucklebuck. If you don't know how to do it in Washington, brother, are you out of luck here? You push your partner out. That's when you hunt your back. Now that's pretty good. Now start a little movement down there in your sacro iliac. You wiggle like a snake. Yeah, you rattle like a duck. Well, oh, pretty easy. That's the way you do it when you do the Hucklebuck. Now watch out. This step could cause a permanent twitch in your tushy. Not yet, I'm gonna tell you where. I'm getting hot now, here's a dance you should know. When your uncle Henry turns the lights way down and starts negotiating, you better buckle your seat belts, you better grab your briefcase, and that's when you're gonna go, yeah. You'll do the huckle buck, you know you'll do it. So what if you don't know how to do it? It's useless to resist, you little fool. You push your partner out. Okay, now you hunch your back. Pretty soon you look like Quasimodo, but it's more fun than the poker. Now you wiggle like a snake, rattle like a duck. Oh, hey, that's terrific. That's the way you do it when you do the Hucklebuck. Okay, here's what you've been waiting for. I'm gonna dance. All right. Now watch these little toes twinkle, kids. This is the latest from the Soviet Union. This is the funky chicken Kiev. Watch out in the front row because I end this in the knee slide. How about that? How about that? Gene Kelly, eat your heart out. I'm not even breathing hard. You think Fred Astaire has class? Watch this little nerve tap here, huh? Huh? All right, have you, have you had enough, kids? Yeah, all right. Now, here's the big finish, the big leap, all the way across the Oval Office. Yeah, terrific. Now, here's where everybody sings coming up pretty soon. Then you start a movement in your sacroiliac. Everybody sing. Just like a snake, waddle like a duck. Follow the bouncing diplomat. Better tell him Big Hank's back in town. Yeah! <laughs>